We'll do our best to tell you anything that we see that's important. Here they go. Walcott has professed to believe that Marciano is an amateur and uh, looks as if he might be going right to work on it. Which Joe definitely was doing, as you saw. Marciano staggered with a short right. Down from a left hook. The count was five. He went down from a left hook. a bit now for the first time. Inside his mouth, not outside. <laughs> Those punches did not land solidly that Marciano threw. Round one, very definitely, Walters. So you see old Joe in his corner with uh, Felix Bocchicchio, his manager, leaning over, talking to him very calmly, and the man with the sponge, Dan Florio, his veteran trainer. A big round he had against the challenger, Knocking him down with a beautiful left hook. The same left hook that knocked out Ezra Charles and won him the title, by the way. And Marciano took a five count. It figured to be a punching fight, and it started out that way. And as we told you, all the time, Walker has said that this would be an easy fight for him, that the uh, challenger was amateurish, and that he knew that he could handle it. Round two. <laughs> Marciano doesn't appear to have been too badly hurt. He seems fresh again. He's very strong, you know. Short right hand. Joe punches with either one of them. Marciano leaping 
again. This is dramatic every second of it because the dynamite is in both clubs. Marciano hasn't figured out what to do with Joe. If he can do anything. punch by Marciano. I hope you saw it clearly. Very solid body punch. Got hit with the left hook again and the right. Those are stunning, powerful blows that Joe is landing. He's still trying to get in one punch that will turn the tide. And the bell, the end of round two. They're busy, as you can see, or could see a moment ago, in Marciano's corner as the boy goes around with the ring card. Now you can see again Al Weil talking to him, pleading with him. Very, very cool yet, Marciano seems to be, but he was hurt, especially in that first round, although the passing of the second ran in his favor. Ten years, the younger man, still strong as a bull, still powerful, still dangerous. Uh, he won't be out of here until he's taken out. And so far, Joe hasn't been able to do it, though he punished him in both rounds. The first round, however, was bigger, the one with the knockdown and the five count. Round three. men are both keen. Walker landed and uh, Marciano countered with a grazing right hand. Walker's was the left hook. In Marciano's corner, they're hollering, keep him up, but there's been no low punch, I assure you. Walcott continues to beat Rocky to the punch as Rocky rushes in. Marciano got in a good right hand, solid right to the rib. With his short arms, Marciano has trouble reaching Walcott, who has a much longer reach. Taller man, of course. Not a serious blow.
Rock had missed, and Rock, Rocky landed. He's strong, he's strong, this Marciano. Marciano staggered. It was a left hook. Walcott was moving away. Not a very solid punch, but he did stagger uh, and then turned and went back to his corner. It was the best round that Marciano has had, that last round, the third. He began to come on a little bit, and he worked hard to Walcott's body. And Joe is breathing very heavily in his corner right now, taking long breaths. And uh, Marciano still seems to be unmarked and quite cool. There was a little blood in his mouth after the first round, but no more. And now we're coming to round four. It's a good fight. Something has to happen any time now. Marciano, the aggressor. their hand. Very good right hand there by Marciano. He is awkward, but he's not too easy to hit inside. All elbow. This is the way he likes to fight. Crowd you and punch at you. Working to walk his body. Walk his stand to his back to the rope. Pretty stationary for Joe. They're both still hitting very hard. Round six.
Because of his short arms, you notice Marciano has to leap into punch. Notice how, uh, as a rule at least, Walker ties Marciano up. Now he broke free. Now Joe's got him again. Joe knows how. punches then. One, two, three, four. No return. But none landed really solidly and dangerously. Probably not seeing these punches. They're they're hard by both fighters. Marciano is now cut on the forest. Walcott is cut around the eye. Walcott's cut around the eye. That may be his blood on Marciano's forehead. I can't be sure. Very tired at the bell was Walcott, rolling and taking punches, and that was the end of round six. The referee goes over to talk to Bokikio and Dan Florio, uh, Walcott's trainers. I don't think from what I can see that that is a deep cut, and it uh, uh, definitely is true that Marciano uh, was not cut, but uh, cut the blood from Walcott's eye. He cut, uh, no, he was a little bit, I believe, a little cut right in, up in his hair that I can't, couldn't see before. But neither cut on either fighter is serious. Walcott's slow to come out. Yellow substance on uh, picks up Walker's eye, and he seems to be having a little trouble seeing out of his left eye. It's cut again. Red with blood down the front. In that exchange, both landed staggering punches. I thought maybe Marciano's was a little harder. Hard to tell. Marciano's 
face is a crimson mass from that cut up in his hair, pouring down between his eyes, the blood. Marciana got in a good straight left jab. He hadn't landed many of those. Grazed the face with the right hand then, Marciano. Tough fight, a tough fight. And the bell for the end of round seven. Watching Marciano in his corner, as you were, you can see that they're still working uh, Charlie Goodman in that cut uh, on the top of his head up there. It's uh, where he possibly butted Walcott. You couldn't say for sure, but it's there and uh, high up on top of the head. Walcott's eye, they're still very busy with, but that's not a deep cut. Didn't bother him too much in the last round. From now on, uh, you might figure, years to count, that uh, the edge would be with Marciano, the younger man. But Walcott looks very fresh, very good shape. Round eight. Solid right in under the heart there. Walcott is doing a little of the walk at waltz now for the first time, retreating, moving sideways a bit. Before he's been going straight back. Acts as if that eye might be bothering him. He uh, doesn't seem to be seeing too clearly. I can't be sure, but looks that way. Backing out a light left, just a light left jab. Begins to look a little tired, Walcott. Uh, not too bad, but this fight's only about half over. Marciano chart with a left jab. I don't know whether he's maybe he's not seeing too well either. And the bell end of round eight. They're trying to get that 
Whatever it is, chemical or something that they put on the cut, I assume, out of uh, Marciano's eye. Uh, he was squinting badly at the end of that round, and he still is in his corner. Now, uh, Wal is again talking to the uh, referee and holding out his hands. Uh, it's, now he walks over and uh, pointing to the eyes, his own eyes, apparently is saying that uh, something is being done, that something has got in uh, Marciano's eyes, and here they go again. Now, while says to the referee, do you see that stuff on his eye, meaning on Walker's eye? Good for the champion, to his advantage. to the body and back to the head with it. Rocky's eyes are open again in this round. Trading punches, bang, bang, bang. Neither seems to have a knockdown punch now, however, but those are hard blows. One thing that definitely happened in that ninth round was that uh, Marciano, who had squinted badly through the eighth round, looked as if something was happening to his eyes, got his eyes wide open again, they're bright and clear, and seemed to be all right. Now, Wilde was complaining that something that had been put on the cut over Walcott's eye had rubbed off and uh, made uh, it so that Rocky couldn't see very well, but whatever it was seems to have been taken care of now, and uh, as we come up to round 10, it's a close, tough, hard fight with only, as you saw, one knockdown, round 10. Rocky 
Dusty Stalky. Stalky never stops talking. You. Made him laugh, then. When fighters laugh, that was Walker who laughed, they're sometimes hurt a little. Walker's a little more of a target now, a little easier to hit than he's been. That left jab is landing for Rocky. Joe is more flat-footed than he was earlier. Marciano hit him with a good right hand and brought that silly grin to... Welcome face, and now Joe was holding on there for a moment. Marciano is mean to the body. Joe's taking it, so is Rocky. Bang, bip, bang again. He's a wonder this old Walker making Marciano miss there. Now Rocky walks away for a change. Now, Marciano lands the solid right as the tenth round ends. Okay, now we're coming down to the decisive rounds of this fight. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 for the heavyweight championship of the world here in Philadelphia. It started with a bang and a rush with old Joe Walker, the champion, knocking young Rocky Marciano, 10 years his junior, down with a left hook. First time that Marciano ever had been put on the canvas. Took a five and came up, and from that time on, they have fought steadily and hard, not thrillingly, not dramatically. Now round 11. Titles in the balance here now. Game. Rocky still after him, unrelenting, fighting after him. Awkward, awkward, but he's getting in there, getting that left hand home. Hang him up. Pace is very slow. Lefts and rights, Bob Walker's head side to side. Not potent punches, though.
Marciano was missing when he was swinging with everything he had. Now Walcott has got Marciano in trouble. Marciano's rocking. With the left hook again, right under the body. Marciano's eyes badly cut under the eye. Badly cut under the eye, Marciano. Walker trying to finish him. He's got him pretty near helpless. Rocky hanging on. Walker's right now if he can finish him. Old Joe's calling on everything he's got. Everything. Another hard left hand. Now Rocky punches back. And the bell. A welcome bell for Rocky Marciano. That one ending the 11th round. Almost made it sure in that round with that powerful left hook again. Drove the right to the body. Marciano sagged and fell into the left hand. And it hurt. It hurt. And for the rest of the round, Marciano did very little. He punched just a little bit at the bell. That was all. Another big round for Walcott. Not quite as big as the first round when he scored the knockdown. But the old champion is showing... What has made him champion of the world and why he stays that way while all the people wonder how he can with all his years. Here we go, round 12. Finding no stationary target here, such as he found against Joe Lewis at the end of Joe's career when he knocked the old brown bomber out. Beautiful left hand by Walker, straight left jab. seems able to take anything Marciana can throw, however. At least he has done it very well so far. He's been hurt, but not badly. and that cut's opened up a little. Big mouse under Marciano's eye. It's a better fight. Rocky rushing in, still gamely crying. Danny Walker staying out of range, leaping back, moving, moving all the time, Walker. Now Walker, heavy to the body with the left hand.
You'd think that wall could get tired sometime, but he never does. And round 12 ends in much the same pattern as most of the previous rounds. And now if the old fellow's going to get tired, we're coming to the time. Unlucky number coming up as you watch him still giving Marciano advice, still hopeful that he can catch up with the old champion and bring him down, and very confidently in his corner, Felix Bocchicchio, manager of Walcott, stands very cool, very calm, looks down and talks to friends in the press rows. <clears throat> Incidentally, their uh, correspondent here tonight from 10 foreign countries, one from as far away as Bombay and India. That's a long way to come to any prize fight. And now we go round 13, the unlucky number. Maybe. But it plainly is intent on staying away now, Pete. With the right hand, walk it. <laughs> and Rocky Marciano is the heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano.